Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Living off-grid can mean being rather distant to the next doctor or hospital. The need for medical skills and tools becomes exponentially more important the further away you are from society. Or if you have family members with complex medical conditions. Hopefully there is never the need to replace a doctor or hospital for a serious injury or medical condition. But your skills level can be the difference between a funny memory of how mommy broke her leg back then or a family member bleeding to death. Whether animals, tools or hazardous surroundings can lead to injuries, illness or worse. The ability to use diagnostic tools for basic human functions like pulse, blood pressure, blood oxygen and temperature is very easy to learn. Usually these devices take 20 to 30 minutes training to provide good results. Most of the time this can be good information for a doctor to diagnose remotely or at least judge if there is a need for transportation to a hospital and at which urgency. Most countries offer first aid and medical courses for all needs. Scale this up accordingly if you have family members with complex conditions or children in young age. Today we will be looking at an off-grid med kit. I have the 65 liters emergency backpack to have my off-grid med kit transportable. This is the same model that emergency doctors and rescue assistants use. It is built out of very durable material. We will go through it pocket by pocket and I will post a link to the complete list in the description. First small pocket on the outside has a small rescue knife with a glass breaker and a rechargeable light that can be strapped to the arm. This does not only provide light but also has a red flashing mode. That does come in handy if you want to be seen for example on road accidents. A second small pocket on the outside contains different types of medical strapping tape. From small about 2 cm to large about 12 cm. The medium sized pocket on the side contains a 1.5 liter bottle of liquid food. Liquid food is a food for special medical purposes for use under medical supervision. It is suitable as a sole source of nutrition. It provides 1 kcal per milliliter. For an adult, this bottle will provide enough nutrition for 24 hours. The lower one of the big outside bags has a pack of medical masks, a refill bottle of wound antiseptikum and a set of basic tests. This is a good time to explain that I will only be showing the tools and utilities. I will not be showing medicamentations as the legality varies hugely for these from country to country. Please do research which medicaments are legal for you in your country and adapt them to your and your family's needs. The other big outside pack has a pack with 100 single use medical gloves and in the blue compartment is a resuscitator kit. Now we will have a look at the main layer of the backpack. There is still plenty of room for different gear. I stuffed the empty space with a pack of wet baby wipes. We will go through the contents step by step from right to left. On the very top of the backpack we have wound and fracture equipment. Two large foldable splints about 120 cm, six splints for fingers, two sterile scissors and tweezers. Up next we have a compartment with the main wound equipment. We have about 25 sterile bandages, 25 sterile compressors, 5 special bandages for burns in different sizes and a few pack of plasters. On the sides we have four large cloth bandages about 120 centimeters on 30 centimeters. These can be useful to support splints and compress larger bleedings. There is also two tourniquets to stop massive bleedings. Three tinfoil emergency blankets to help with hyper or hypothermia. The middle of the backpack contains a compartment with a fingertip pulse oximeter, a blood glucose meter with test strips and multiple sets of spare batteries for all the technical equipment. 
In the lower part of the backpack, we have two 250ml eye showers to clean eyes and a spray bottle with wound antiseptic.com We also have a portable device to measure blood pressure. As we are a good part into the video and if you are still watching, consider to leave a like on the video or subscribe in the channel for future content. In a tight compartment on the top of the backpack it has room for a rescue transport blanket. Emergency services and transport needs a road or an open area for a helicopter to land or to work on the patient. This durable material unfolds to about 200 cm on 60 cm. Two adults can transport an unresponsive patient through rough terrain with this. If need be, it can be done alone, but don't expect a smooth ride. In the second layer of the backpack we have the infusion equipment. Do not use any of these unless you have professional knowledge. Here we have a few sterile packed syringes in different sizes. 25 sterile pre-packed injection kits. 4 bottles of 500ml medical saline solution with prepared sterile injection kits. Last but not least we have some basic equipment like permanent markers, pens and a solar rechargeable power bank with a cable to charge mobile phones. Keeping a phone working can be a crucial thing in emergency situations, especially in off-grid environments. Often ambulances or rescue services will need detailed instructions and multiple callbacks to find a remote location. This med kit is what I use, adapted to your and your family's health, needs and skill levels. With that, I wish you all a great day and make it count.